The BBVA Foundation has made known the results of the Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the Basic Sciences category for the 2009 edition. Frontiers of Knowledge Award in Basic Sciences, Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics is shared equally between two scientists, Richard N. Zayer of Stanford University and Michael E. Fisher of the University of Maryland. Zayer and Fisher share this award for their contributions to describing the world at the molecular scale from two independent and fundamental lines of investigation. Among other applications, their work has rendered molecules visible and allowed us to analyze their collective behavior. Richard Zare has received the award for his introduction of laser-induced fluorescence down to the limit of single cells. You can see single molecules by, micro by microscopy and also by laser-induced fluorescence. This being able to see single molecules, this type of sensitivity, led to many other directions. It led particularly to putting on fluorescent tags on dyes and other molecules and being able to follow them, such as the DNA molecule. This highly sensitive technique means that an isolated molecule can be observed in isolation and its chemical reaction studied at the same time. The use of induced fluorescence has permitted great scientific advances. Being able to see single molecules, this type of sensitivity led to many other directions. It led particularly to putting on fluorescent tags on dyes and other molecules and being able to follow them, such as the DNA molecule, as you look at what it is and you sequence it to find out what are the bases that made DNA. And in that sense, this laser-induced fluorescence has enabled the sequencing of the human genome, something which excites us a great deal because it holds the promise of being able to indeed deal with human disease. And, and make advances that way. So it's been quite a story from going to from simple gas phase molecules to complex things that you find inside the cell. From Professor Michael Fisher's work, the jury has highlighted that his work helps to interpret the vast diversity of the behaviors of bulk matter with respect to its atomic or molecular parts and their interactions. Everyday matter will change from one form to another form and so on. So we have to understand those changes and they're important to the degree that anything we make, anything we have in a refrigerator, anything of that sort, we have to understand the limits. Professor Fisher's work over five decades has been fundamental for interpreting this kind of behavior which is present in countless phenomena. And if you're curious, and all scientists are curious, then you say, so when it changes from one form to another, what exactly happens? And 